Um, do you have any idea what time it started this morning? Uh, it was reported around 6 o'clock a.m. As far as what time, it could have started between 5.30 Friday evening till 6 o'clock this morning. Mm -hmm. So I have no definite time. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the cause is yet? No. There's so much destruction there that I probably never figure out what the cause is. Mm -hmm. And um, no injuries? No injuries. Everybody, in fact, the family had left last night to, to go to Hawaii. And they just landed just a little while ago, and that's who we were talking to on the phone. Mm -hmm. And um, how do they take the news? Uh, they're both, both the husband and wife are kind of in, sort of like, it's not, it, you know, it's not really sunk in, I think. Mm -hmm. Then they'll probably wait till we get back to the motel room or get to the motel room, and, and they'll probably call Esso back again to talk to them again. Mm -hmm. And um, so total dent, total loss, I Total assume. loss, and I have no idea what the value is. He, he worked, obviously he worked on older cars. There was... There was at least one older car in, in the basement or in the garage, and it looked like some kind of four four wheel drive motorcycle, motorbike type vehicle in there. Mm -hmm. And you guys must have worked pretty hard to keep it from spreading. Yeah, and it what? And basically, it was Central Yapai plus Prescott. I believe Prescott Fire was on the scene first last night or earlier this morning because mm -hmm. they were the closest. But yeah, mm -hmm. we've, we've been here since six, so. So, and they did a real good job about keeping it from spreading into uh, into any of the other neighbors' homes or brush. So fortunately, we had the weather on our side, so it wasn't windy at all last night. So that was real helpful. Yeah. Um, this is the time of year people need to be careful. Do you have any suggestions? Uh, the only suggestions I got are when you're going on vacation, you might contact somebody to come by and check on your house or... Have a house sitter, or if you can't afford that, make sure everything's shut off. You know that you know when you're in a hurry to catch a plane or whatever, you tend to might forget to turn off or unplug a hair dryer or whatever. Just double check that everything's mm -hmm. shut off and secure. And if you got neighbors, to kind of keep an eye on your house. Mm -hmm. And there's no sign of arson or anything like that with this. No, not at this time. Mm -hmm. And because the bottom basement was full of equipment, automobile equipment, and fuels, and all that kind of stuff you find with a mechanic garage, you know, it's probably not going to, it's, it, I could probably take samples, but it probably wouldn't prove anything, you know, because we already got it on site, yeah. know, just from the homeowners, so. So. but it's now, and they've only been in the house three months, so they just recently purchased it, so. mm -hmm. Um, and your name, please? I'm Rod. Last name's Lopez. Okay. Anything else you want to add? No. Uh, both Prescott and Central did a real good job. Granted, there's not a lot left here, but did a good job of putting in and out. It was pretty much, by the time the first truck got on scene, though, the whole house was just totally engulfed in the so. Right. So. And because we have no water up here, yeah. we have to bring it all in, so that makes it a little tougher. Do you, um, were there any pets? The pets, fortunately, were boarded, or they were boarded with friends, so, okay. so as far as we know, there was nobody or nothing, nothing in here. Okay. Okay? All right, thank you.